What's up you guys? In today's video, we're gonna dive into Rarity Tools, the number one tool used for NFTs. Thousands of people use Rarity Tools every single day to understand NFT rarity. We'll talk about what that means to discover upcoming projects and to just make wiser NFT purchase decisions overall. If you're new to the NFT space and you're unfamiliar with Rarity Tools, you're in the right place. Let's go ahead and dive in. So you can go to Rarity Tools at rarity.tools. This is a website dedicated to evaluating rarity in NFT collections and generative art. Why is rarity important? Well, one of the first questions people have after purchasing an NFT is, well, how rare is mine? Rarity has always been an important factor in determining the value of a collectible. I like to equate this to Pokemon cards. If you have a rare holographic Charizard, that's going to be highly valuable on the market. The same goes for baseball cards. If you have a Babe Ruth rookie card, that could sell for millions on the market. Rarity has always driven the value of collectibles and NFTs are no different. Well, the first thing you wanna do is just go to the NFT collection. If you hover above all collections here, you can search by project name or just click on one of these blue chip projects up here. We'll use the Bored Apes as an example. If you click on one of the NFTs, we can see this NFT's rarity information. Up top, we see its rarity score, and beneath that, we see a number of traits with their own corresponding rarity score. Traits are just unique aesthetics that are displayed within the NFT. For example, this earring with a cross or this dagger in this ape's mouth. Each trait is given a rarity score depending on how rare it is in that collection. And when you sum up all of the rarity scores of each trait for that NFT, you get the overall rarity score of that NFT. And what's cool about Rarity Tools is they handle all of that for every single collection, and then they go ahead and rank all of the NFTs in that collection by that rarity score. So it's an easy and simple way for you to discover what are the rarest NFTs in a collection, what are the least rarest NFTs. How does Rarity Tools ranking system work? Well, because each community values its NFTs differently, Rarity Tools ranking system is customized for each individual project. For example, the CryptoPunks community values attribute count more than anything else. The rarest CryptoPunk is the only CryptoPunk with seven attributes, the most attributes out of the entire collection. Whereas other NFT projects might value other aspects that aren't related to attribute count more. Rarity Tools takes all of that into consideration when developing the ranking system for that project. If you're interested in learning more about the math and statistics behind the ranking system, I included a link to our article in the description. So let me show you how to find your NFT in Rarity Tools. Well, the first thing you want to do is obviously go to your collection in Rarity Tools, and we'll use Dead Fellas as an example here. And what we want to use is this lookup function where you just paste the ID of your NFT right here in lookup. So to find your NFT's ID, just hop into OpenSea, click on your NFT, and you can scroll down in details and you'll see token ID. You can copy that. The token ID is usually the same number that's associated in the title of that NFT. But we'll go back into Dead Fellas and Rarity Tools and just paste our ID in Lookup. And here we can see this NFT's rarity information appear. It's ranked 6,726 with a rarity score of 90. There's 10,000 um, Dead Fellas in the entire collection, and this one is ranked in the 6,000s. So now that we know how to look up rarity, as you can see, it's pretty simple and easy to use if you have your ID or if you just want to scroll collections. But let's go a level deeper and I'll show you how to find cheap NFTs that you could potentially flip for a higher price. So in this example, I'm going to hop into CyberConks. And what you want to do when you hop in the collection in Rarity Tools is filter by buy now as the listing type. This is just gonna show us all of the CyberKongs that are listed and able to be purchased. The next thing we're gonna do is sort by price low to high. So now we're looking at the CyberKongs floor, which is just the cheapest CyberKongs that are available for purchase. And what we wanna keep an eye out for is any relatively rare CyberKongs that are near this floor price. So we can see these cheap CyberKongs here are listed for 104 ETH, 100, 105, 108. And we can see their rarity ranking up here as well, 757, 656. So one thing I'm looking for is a relatively rare CyberKong that is near this floor price. We can see all of these are in the 700s, 600s, 800s, 900s, but we see this CyberKong here and also this one 
384 and 334. Obviously we want to get something as rare as possible, closer to one, but these are pretty rare in terms of how low they are listed on the price floor. Especially this one. This one's actually listed at 110 ETH right now, far below a lot of these 900 rankings. So in theory, I could purchase this CyberKong and then perhaps flip it in the future for something that's a little bit more market price. As we can see up here, there's 200s, there's a 100, there's a 300 that are going for closer to 200 ETH. I could purchase this for 110 ETH and maybe try to flip it for 200 ETH. Obviously, this is a pretty exaggerated example as these are really expensive NFTs, but you wanna replicate this sort of thinking for smaller projects that are out there. Because I know this is a relatively rare CyberKong, I have a bit more confidence in the fact that I could flip this at a higher price in the future. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is how to use rarity tools to discover upcoming NFT projects. So if you're looking for whitelist and pre-sale mint opportunities, this is a cool tool for you to use. If you hop into upcoming, we'll see a list of upcoming NFT projects. Now people have to submit their project to be listed here. So it's not going to show every single upcoming NFT project, but at least we have some sort of listing site that gives us information on upcoming projects. So you can scroll these projects, see if anything catches your eye, click on their website for more information on the project. And if you're looking for whitelist and pre-sale mint opportunities, for those of you that are newer, all that means is if you're looking for opportunities to get in on a project before they are released to the public, you can check out their website and their Discord for what's called whitelist and pre-sale mint opportunities. So as you can see, Rarity Tools is a fantastic resource to use to help you make wiser NFT purchase decisions. Instead of solely making NFT decisions based on your personal preference or what you think looks cool, start taking Rarity into account. Rare collectibles have always had a higher value. Pokemon cards, baseball cards, NFTs, they're all the same. Look, NFTs are a tricky space. Most people are buying and selling on a whim. So understanding some of the fundamentals like rarity really puts you ahead of the curve of most people out there. So stay savvy, continue learning, do your own research, and start using tools like Rarity Tools to help you make better decisions. That's all I have for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and smash that subscribe button. It helps grow the channel, and I will see you all in the next one.